There are many myths and legends about tankless water heaters. If you have learned about one or have been told about one, and if your information is three or five years old, probably you're misinformed. For example, if you compare an older style tankless heater to a new direct vent, it's similar to the difference between an automobile that uses a carburetor and an automobile that uses fuel injection, electronic fuel injection. This particular model from EasyTankless.com has three buttons on the control panel, an off-on switch, and a up and down button for controlling the temperature of the water. So non-direct vent means that you are taking in your combustion air from the room in which the heater is mounted. The drawback on these models, and one of the reasons that they're being phased out for the new direct vent style, is that they can extract the heat from your house. You can visualize that when this thing turns on, when this unit is running, it needs air. And if it's taking its air from the room, then it's taking the heat or the air conditioning from your home. In installations of the non-direct vent models, you also must calculate the volume of air available in the room. With these new direct vent balanced or dual chamber type heaters, like this one, you have no necessity for calculating the room air volume. Why? Because you don't use the air in the room in which the heater is mounted. How it works is that there are two pipes built in one. You can see here that in the center is one pipe and then there is an, a larger pipe around it. The center pipe is the exhaust and the outer area is the intake. Looking at the other end, we have an intake area here. This is where the air is going in and this will be the exhaust. So advantages, you only have one hole in your home, but also with intake air passing through this pipe, you have a much cooler exhaust pipe. This pipe is going to be much cooler on the exterior. So tankless water heaters have gotten smaller. The reason they're smaller is because with forced air combustion, they have more heat energy in a smaller box. The advantage of the newer ones also is that they supply a constant temperature that you set on the control panel. The older models that don't have a fan, so they're not forced air, they're just a draft. Basically, it's uh, making a fire and heating this water that's going through it. Using our Easy Deluxe model as an example of a modern direct vent tankless water heater, when you open a hot water valve, obviously the water then begins to move through the hot water system in your home. There is a sensor here which detects the movement of the water or the flow. When that happens, it begins the process of the heater operation. It sees instantly that this water is moving, so it tells the heater to turn on. So your water cold comes in and travels into this heat exchanger. There are rows of tubing that the water travels through and you have a combustion chamber where there is the fire and the air meeting and this rising heat heats this area here and then the hot water comes out so when you have set the temperature on the heater on the control panel the sensor here at the exit point where the hot water is coming out is telling the heater that it needs to turn itself up or down 
to regulate that temperature that you have selected on the control panel. This is the blower fan assembly here. It is taking the intake air into the combustion process and it by taking air in with the gas fire you have much more BTUs of heat because you are adding this oxygen, this air to the fire process where the older type tankless heaters and your conventional gas tank type water heaters simply have a gas fire underneath that the rising heat is heating the water. So that air is drawn in by this suction created by this fan motor. The air is drawn in from the intake point outside the home as I explain when I show the exhaust intake pipe system. That air travels down through the interior of the heater and cools the internal components before it reaches the intake point where it goes into the combustion chamber. You have the hot water running and then when you turn off the faucet or the shower when the flow stops, when the water is no longer moving through the tankless heater, then it senses that and it turns itself off. It will have the fan running for a few seconds to cool down the internal components. And when it is sitting in standby mode, meaning you don't have any hot water faucets turned on, it is using no gas as it has no pilot light. It has an electronic ignition system. So you only use natural gas or LP gas with this type of heater when you actually open a faucet or turn on the shower. You don't have standby energy loss by keeping a large tank of water hot 24 hours a day, seven days a week, anticipating the moment when you might need it the heater does all that for you. When you ask for the water, it delivers it. That's simply how they work. So basically, this is how the new modern models like our Easy Deluxe operate. And this is what the layout of components is in a typical modern tankless water heater. And here we have a traditional type draft tankless heater. And when you remove the body, you can see that it's just a cover plate. This actually is still being sold in large retail stores nationwide. Basically, this heater is like your barbecue grill. You have a burner here, similar to a barbecue grill. And you set the amount of gas that you want going in here, or the amount of fire that's coming out of it. And to turn it on, you have, just like on your barbecue grill, a little plunger. And it makes a spark. And it ignites a pilot light. And that pilot light burns continuously. So the water going through this heat exchanger is being heated by this naturally rising heat from this gas fire. There's no assistance by an electrical fan. You don't have oxygen being fed into it. This rising heat heats this water here. Then the, the combustion gases, including carbon monoxide, which is normal in any device that has is gas fired rises up through here and goes out the exhaust pipe by the natural draft or the rising of the heat just like your fireplace or your chimney. So this is a tankless water heater but it is the design, the original design that most manufacturers are no longer using or they are discontinuing. This is a not forced air, non-direct vent heater. So it's just basically your barbecue grill heating water flowing through this exchanger.